I want to say to you that for the last eight days, I had a little bit of a Bible school with Jesus, okay? And um, I came back from Japan. You know, some of you know that I went to Osaka for three and a half days and uh, I was praying. You are praying for me as well. And for 27 years, I've had Japan on my heart. And when I came back, I was really, I didn't know this, and sometimes you don't know it, you're actually very fatigued. You're very tired physically. The tiredness just came on me, you know. And I don't know whether you've been so tired before. I'm sure you have. You, you, you just, your body just goes into some sort of a berserk mode. It just goes into like, I feel like I want to faint, but I also want to vomit. But I also am lightheaded and dizzy. And I feel I want to sit down, but uh, I'm not sure what's happening. And then after that, you turn cold a little bit, and then suddenly, sometimes you start to shiver, not really shiver like that, but shiver inside of you, you know, you go like, oh, what's going on? And you know, uh, I begin to entertain the thought uh, of high blood pressure, you know, doctor. High blood pressure, you know why not? Because Quan Chin, a uh, couple of days before that, uh, had to go to hospital. He had to go to hospital with high blood pressure. 141 over 101. 141 over 101. So I, on Monday, was still feeling like that, okay? And I'm claiming the word, no. Don't, don't think I'm not claiming it. I'm praying. I said, by his stripes, I'm healed. By his stripes, I'm healed. I'm claiming the word. But in between the by his stripes, I'm healed, uh, it's like, oh no, am I going to die? Have you ever done that before? In between your prayer, in between your claiming the word, are you okay or not? Are you sure die one? Oh, but by his stripes, I'm healed. But are you, is it high blood pressure? Have you done that before? This is, this is Christian life. This, is, this happens. That's why I'm saying, you know, free, not free, free, not free. Am I free, not free? Did Christ really set me free? Maybe not. You, you with me? You don't say it, but you live it. So I go to uh, the doctors on Tuesday and I'm supposed to have a full medical checkup. Full medical checkup, okay? And uh, I went there. It was raining heavily on Tuesday morning. I don't know if you know that or not. Go to communing cats and dogs, okay? And I'm driving out and it's raining and I'm not feeling well. My wife couldn't join me. I had to find this place. It was jammed. One, one and a half hours. I don't know why, but my mind began to play a Korean movie, you know? And, uh, you know, you you know, kimchi. And, and um, you know, it just began to play. And I tell you what, I almost teared. I almost teared because it's, it's you know, raining some more. Nobody in your car. You could faint. You could die in the car. I don't know. You know, very, you know, always exaggerated, exaggerated one, and uh, then I go out there and then I, you know, I, I check myself in and they are checking me. And uh, finally, I get the result. Uh, well, there are various checks, uh, you know, for uh, medical checkup, full medical checkup, various checks. But one is the <laughs> blood pressure. And you know, uh, my mind already, I'm like, okay, confirm to me, confirm to me my biggest fears. You know, confirm to me. Come on. You know, you're almost asking for it, no? How many of you have been there before? You're almost asking for it. And uh, 158. Over 101. See, uh, Quan Chin went to hospital uh, on 141, doctor. I'm 158, no. I'm thinking, I'm a, no, I'm a walking zombie. And I'm like, oh no. And you know what, after they take, uh, don't know why, but worry also can make you go crazy. Because now I don't even want to get out of my seat. Earlier on, I'm walking by myself, right? After the 158, over 101, I'm like, should I even stand up? You know, it can really psych you up, you know. Life is like that. Apply it to your own life. It, it happens. And I'm like, should I even stand up? Should you give me some Milo? <laughs> Suddenly, you don't want to be pampered. No? Before you're sick, you don't want to be pampered. One After you know you're sick, oh, please help me. It's just your whole psyche, your whole attitude changes. Do you know how powerful this is? It's all in the mind, you know, the battle of the mind. The enemy plays with your mind. But God also says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. By the renewing of your mind. Wow. So, <laughs> I go for other checks. And I came out and the nurse said, quite high, no sir? I said, I know. I said, my friend just went in, no hospital, uh, admitted two days, no, because of 141. I'm 158. Check, 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 check again, check again. I said, okay, please, please check again, no? So I sat down again, please check. I'm praying, no, and and sometimes you don't know what you're praying. So are you praying for it to go down or for it to be confirmed? <laughs> sometimes we get actually what we actually really want. <laughs> and so, 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 so the freedom that I'm talking about, I pray that all of us catch it. 
Because Christ came to give us full freedom, complete freedom, wholeness, healing. And so I said, okay, come, check again. Wow, improve. 157. <laughs> Over 105. Oh, Pastor, we should rejoice at every little bit of, uh, you know, <laughs> we should give thanks uh, for every small improvement. <laughs> Ah, yo, I said, uh, I said to the nurse, I said, this is serious, right? Eh, hey, quiet, huh? No, 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 I check you manually. I will use the manual BP uh, tool and I'll put the stethoscope and I'll try to listen and I'll, I'll try to get uh, more accurate. I don't think now uh, you are 158. Then I'm, in my mind, I'm going like, you know, I think I am, I think I am, I think I am, I think I am. Because why am I like this, right? So you're trying to find explanations, you see? But actually, you're confessing it into your own spirit. Careful, right? Careful what you're doing inside, because He has set me free. And, and so you are claiming He has set me free, but not really. And so she goes, Ay, yeah, sir. It's 130 over 80. That's a big difference, no? Big difference. Still a little bit on the high side, la, but big difference. I said, really? Wow, and then my heart uh, started to settle, no? Start to settle a little bit. I said, check again. <laughs> okay, and can, can, no problem. And 130 over 80. You know, so I walked out and, and went like, hey. But you know, throughout this whole time, what I'm trying to say to you is God is teaching me things. God is speaking to me. Kenneth, you believe or don't believe. Cannot be half believe, you know. Cannot be like, uh, excuse me, ma'am, are you pregnant? Yes, a little bit. Have you ever heard of a little bit pregnant? You're either pregnant or you're not pregnant. No such thing as little bit pregnant. No. Uh, you believe or don't believe a little bit? No, no such thing. That's why uh, if you believe, all it needs to be is as small as a mustard seed. So small only. Why? Because there's no such thing as little bit, don't believe, little bit. No, no. You believe or don't believe. Now, one drop of faith is powerful enough uh, to move mountains. 